Hi everyone, this is RK. Uh, I'm the MDM architect. Uh, in this video, let's discuss about how to install the Informatica MDM 10.10HF2, which is the hotfix tool. So instead of like I have, I put it like kind of a four part series instead of putting everything in one single video. I thought that like uh, it would be beneficial for everybody uh, to put it like a kind of a four part series. The, in the part one, let's identify the right Informatica version as well as uh, uh, identify the prerequisite softwares. That is the more important point of the installations point. Number two. We also, the, in the part two, let's install the Oracle DB as well as all the necessary schemas required. In part three, let's install the JBoss as well as the MDM Hub Console. Part four, let's install the process server as well as the resource kit. In part one, please believe, trust me, when you identify the right, in, uh, right prerequisite softwares, pretty much you have saved 50% of your installation time. What do you need to do? Informatica has given all the necessary informations to you. In fact, if you take a look at it, uh, go log into the mysupport.informatica.com. That's the number one. Then you go ahead and search for MDM 10 PAM, which is the product availability matrix. In your case, if you are downloading 9.6 or 9.5 or any other particular versions, right? Just go ahead and uh, search the corresponding. A product availability matrix so in this case uh, it is when I'm going to search for MDM 10 PAM I did found that there is a PAM for Informatica MDM domain edition hotfix 2 when I click on this particular link I do see that there is a Excel X files it is an Excel file they are giving in the necessary Excel file when you open it up okay uh, it has like uh, three kinds of one tab. The first one is you need to identify the right JDK version. Please remember that you download like any one of the JDK version supported by your uh, by your MDM Informatica version. Okay. In this particular scenario, in our MDM 10, I would like to download 1.7. 45. Please do not download 1.8. Restrict your temptations and stick with 1.7. And the second one is your database version. So you can choose Oracle DB to SQL Server based on whatever your preferred one. In this case, I have preferred the uh, Oracle. So I'm trying to use the 11G2. The third one is the application server. Application server, if you look at it, Informatica MDM supports your JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere. Uh, I'm planning to use JBoss 6.2.0. EAP, EAP is the enterprise application platform. Okay. Once you have identified all the necessary softwares, you also need to download from mysupportinformatica.com. You can also download your, uh, your database files for installation for MDM as well as your Windows uh, files, whether if it is in Windows, Windows, if it is a Linux, Linux or the corresponding whatever the operating system you are planning to install. The third one is the silent install samples. This is this is where all your resource kit uh, installations example. And in case if you also want to download your install the BPM, ActiveVS needs to be installed on the machine too. So being said that, so with that, let's go ahead and straight away install the JDK. As I, as you, as you noted down before, so when when we are installing it, let's me put my corresponding files over here it says here so instead of that I have my stuff so I'm, I'm going to say this is my local directory and once it is getting installed then we can also uh, install the JRE version on the same path too the main reason uh, why I want to spend more time kind of on the necessary uh, pre-request softwares because as I, I, I want to reiterate again and again, please look at your, go to the Informatica website, look at the document, download all the necessary files, necessary pre-request softwares, which is really, really important. Okay. So anyway, this is going to get, in, uh, this is going to get uh, installed. Uh, once it is getting installed, all I wanted to do make sure that like your Java path has been set up properly. So it's already installed successfully in this case. 
so once once you know whatever the versions it is going to once you put type java in your uh, command prompt from the windows you should be able to see it has been installed properly in case if you are running into one trouble you can go to one control panel go to the systems and go to the advanced system, advanced uh, settings in that environment variables. Make sure that your Java underscore home also you are setting it up. In case all you need to do new, you can set it up. In case if you want to change edit, you can edit it. Make sure that it has been set up rightly. So now what we have to do now we have installed the JDK. We have also downloaded all the necessary corresponding files from the different uh, websites. So the database you are downloaded from an Oracle, uh, JBoss you are downloading from the JBoss website, JDK from an Oracle website, Informatica you are downloaded from the Informatica website, right? So you have identified, you have you are obtained your license key, you are everything is ready. Now your JDK everything has been installed, so you are good to go with the part two, which is an Oracle DB installations. Okay. Thanks for uh, watching the part one, and let's go ahead in in, in my second video. Let's go ahead and discuss about how to install the Oracle database as well as along with the necessary schema. And once again, thanks for watching my 